Hey, what's up, guys? It's Andrew Smirsik with Combat Training. I'm here today with Grant of AB Suppressor, and he's going to be showing us some silencers and uh, a new can that you guys have just released. Right on. So uh, this is our Warthog. We offer it in 7.62 and 5.56. It's a H917-4 stainless can. It's really tough, uh, and an MSRP is for 5.50 and 600, respectively. Uh, what we did is we took our spiral tech baffle system. We did 25 years in turbo machinery before we ever made a suppressor. Uh, we had OEM stuff for Polaris and Harley and a DOD contract to make the turbos for the Navy's drones. But anyway, fluid dynamics is all about the study of gas flow. The idea of these baffles is to kick the gases into a spin rather than like a dead end that they're going to slam into. Uh, it could cause it to rebound, go back down to bore, and, and things like that. So it's very, very efficient. That allows us to make this really tiny package like this super quiet and really really minimal effect on the operation of your rifle your carbine uh, minimal blowback uh, just keep running so i don't have to change out like anything on the inside of the gun it just yeah i mean so like ar yeah. you, tuning ars center, is a big yeah. thing mm -hmm. like the goal for suppressor companies in my opinion should be to have the least amount of impact on the weapon that, that you can but there's always going to be some impact if you're yeah. going to get good flash suppression performance and good sound suppression performance okay so um it's really going to depend on your setup but like generally speaking this will have a very minimal impact especially in this size you know there's just not that much resistance you're not adding that much artificial dwell because of how small it is right on and then how much is that way how's that it's, it's 10 ounces 10 ounces yeah it feels pretty light right on yep uh and then they come with a, a titanium flush mount that only adds like a quarter inch actually less than a quarter inch um and that weight I gave you did include the flush mount. So, oh, okay. Uh, and we made it tight because that's not the part that's going to get stressed out. You know, it's going to be like the, the blast tube or that first baffle is going to get stressed out. So we can make this out of tie and save on even more weight. But it is one and three eighths, 24 okay. back there. So if you have some sort of like universal QD threading, whatever, this will go right on that. Um, it has a domed end cap and really, really robust fl uh, flash hider prongs and a conical bore. This means that if the host is dropped, end cap down and strikes against something like pavement asphalt gravel or whatever there is a zero uh probability that you're going to have a burr or something like that that's going to wind up obstructing the end cap oh cool that's why this is a fighting kid right on and how much is that going for uh this one's 550 msrp oh wow that's not bad yeah. and how about, is, that's the 556 yeah, right 762 600 msrp 600 okay yeah. right on all right cool anything else you want to show us uh, I mean, if you're interested, yeah, we got the, this is our flagship lineup that we've been selling for years now, the Raptor. It's grade five titanium. Uh, so especially like uh, hunting or precision rifle shooters and stuff like that keeps things really, really lightweight. And they use reflexes that go back over the barrel, taking advantage of that free real estate behind uh, the muzzle mm -hmm. to add to the overall volume of the can without adding overall length. Okay. Very cool. All right. All right, cool. And then, uh, so, uh, is it absuppressor.com? That's or? right. Yeah, and we're on all the socials. So. All right, right on. All right, so, thank you guys for watching. Keep fighting communism. And remember that training saves lives.